Hey guys, welcome back to channel Pause Window Cleaning and this is week number 18 of our 100K journey of 2024. Now, Achi's with us in this video yes. and we had a very interesting week, mm -hmm. I would like to say. Uh, let's just uh, get straight into it. So we had a lot of jobs this week, which we're very happy about. Uh, it is the best time to be a window cleaner, especially right now. Mm -hmm. I've been saying that the last couple of weeks. But the first job this week was the most interesting, I must say. So um, if you want to know like a fun little fact, I guess, we made $850 in one second. <laughs> Yeah, ah. yeah. <laughs> because so why do I say that? So uh, we get to the job, right? We did this guy's uh, bid about a couple weeks ago. Uh, got he's selling the house and everything like that. And so uh, we showed up, uh, and he told us to come this Monday. And so we ended up going to his house on Monday. And the way to get to his house is kind of like going off the road, if that kind of makes sense. So when we were going to his house, there was a huge van right in front of us, mm -hmm. and I was like please don't take a right, please don't take a right. And then he ended up taking a right into that street and I was like, ah, oh, great. So we got there, apparently they were the staging crew for the setup for to you know the pictures to sell the house and everything. And so we were like, oh, well we can't work while they're doing that, right? So uh, essentially we found the, the, the homeowner and we ended up talking to him and we were like, hey, so just wanna let you know, it's gonna be very difficult mm -hmm. for us, you know, and it, like, when is the photo shoot and which happened to be uh, this weekend. And so uh, we were like, well, you know, we can't really do the job, but we do have another day available. And then he's like, you know what, let's just do that. Here, let me pay you right now. He ended up paying us and I was just like, Oh, okay. And he yeah. like, and he zelled us actually. Yeah. So that was kind of funny. So he zelled us like right away. And I was just kind of like, oh, okay. So the whole thing is that <laughs> I made, or we made $850 in like one second, boom, you yeah. know? And so it was very funny, but at the same time, it was very nice that he trusted us, you know, to pay us, you know, through Zell. And then on top of that, be able to show up to do the job, which we ended up doing. Um, but I will say, though, that uh, for his house, we didn't do any recording because there was I we just got a vibe that it was probably not a good place um, to, to do any recordings of the house. So we won't have any clips of that house, but a huge house. They had yeah. glass railings. They had a lot of. A lot Tracks, of screens. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. We did we did the works pretty yeah. much. So uh, except for gutter cleaning. <laughs> That's yeah, no, yeah. just windows. <laughs> no, no gutter cleaning. But uh, but yeah, and, and I guess also solar panels. He didn't do. But uh, but yeah, we did the whole thing for 850, and yeah, we were there for quite a while. But anyway, so that was kind of the funny little joke that we had about that job. But so moving on from there, uh, we had another job. Come to find out, I actually gave this guy a bid a couple years ago. And I remember when I, I think you guys kind of remember when I talked about my first water fed system, it was the Unger N-Lite. So my pole was the Unger pole or whatever. It only goes up to 21 feet, right? And so he had like a third story window kind of pushing fourth story because the way it is is that it goes like on a decline, you know? So like when you try to do the window, it becomes like four stories kind of. But I wasn't able to do it. And so the only way to do it was to kind of go outside the window and kind of like reverse clean the window, if that makes sense. So I really didn't feel comfortable doing that uh, for obvious reasons, right? Uh, but I was just kind of like, oh, okay. But then we kind of try to work things out, see maybe I could do it, which ended up perfect timing. COVID hit. So I ended up saying like, hey, you know, I won't be able to do the job. And so he ended up finding someone. But come to find out, he calls us uh, this week and he's like, hey, I would like to have my windows clean. I was like, oh, I remember this guy. Let's see if he <laughs> even remembers me, right? Show up and he's like, Andy, I remember you. I remember you from a few years ago. And he's like, I remember you were going to try to do it. My window's going like reverse. And I was like, yep, yep. But I told him good news. We have a whole a water fed system now that I can go and do those windows, which the micro, like literally I got to the limit of that pole. I was like really just like barely getting it. But man, good thing I had 30 feet on that. I was so happy to do it, but uh, yeah. Four, three star, right? Yeah, yeah, pushing four. So yeah, uh, what do you think of that job? It was for me, it was fine. Oh, you yeah, were yeah. suffering. <laughs> we yeah. did inside and out. Oh yeah, and yeah. Yeah, we did the screens too, so. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's a pretty cool thing too. Like, okay, I'm not even joking. I think this week alone, we've gotten like three calls because of our wrap of the car. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I'm not even joking. Like there's like a, like a couple of times that we do a job and then like a week later we get a call and it's funny that it always quit in, quit it. Wait, what's the word I'm looking for? Co Coincidence? 
asking that, that word. Coincidentally, I don't speak English yeah. very well. <laughs> <laughs> but that word, coincidentally, uh, that it just so happens to be a neighbor that's across the street or like a few doors down. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, oh, okay, how did you find me? Oh, on Yelp or whatever or Google. So I mean, they probably do their research, but I think that idea was implanted into them by seeing our rep. So, mm -hmm. anyways. So we got a few of those, but but the point I'm saying that is that when we were doing this guy's house, I was like three, four stories high, like one of the neighbors would kind of walk to my car. And then while at the end of the job, we started doing screen cleaning, he came up to us and started talking to, you know, his neighbor and I guess they go golfing a lot, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So they are really good friends and he's like, oh, look at my windows. And they went inside and they're like, oh, mm -hmm. this is a great because... I guess they also used to have a window cleaner come and he would do everything by hand. And apparently it took him, what would they say, like a whole day or something, yeah. right? So imagine that, right? A whole day. And when he asked me, like, oh, how long are you going to take? I'm like, ah, like an hour and a half. And he's like, yeah. really? And so, we do two hours, I think, in the yeah, job. Well, yeah, we talked a little bit, too. And yeah. with the screens. Yeah, with the screens and put them back on. But yeah, it was like the funniest thing because he's just like... Really? And like, I, yeah. again, he didn't trust me, but he did, if that makes sense. So, uh, but I told him at the end, we'll look at the windows. And so moving on, when mm -hmm. we're doing the screens, he took that neighbor inside the house and he was like, whoa. And like, mm -hmm. he was just so happy about it. He's like, I'm definitely going to call you in six months. So, okay, great. So anyways, um, so then from there, we ended up doing that neighbor's house or actually before that job we did, again, this is not like, every single day we're talking about like back to back to back it just varies right so uh but the the before we did the neighbor's job we did uh another job uh, sarah remember sarah so mm. anyways so uh, uh we ended up doing this client's house um i gave her a bid a couple of years ago and uh i th so but then she ended up going with someone else now the thing is is that for me i kind of don't mind if people go with someone else it's not a problem because i know budget can be a thing or you know maybe they like someone else better another company no problem at all but uh when i always tell you guys to like send text messages to clients or you know people that were potentially wanting to have their windows clean always text them back and so mm -hmm. i ended up doing that got the job and i kind of like you know kind of gave her the bid again i kind of went like i think 25 dollars even cheaper than the previous bid that i gave her and she was totally cool with that so i was like okay great so i ended up doing her windows and it was funny because like she wasn't home but her husband was and then it was like oh and then we went to do that one too mm -hmm. we, oh, we did screens again on that one man to the, this, yeah, this we week did. yeah <laughs> we keep doing screens i love adding the screens so oh, i yeah. love love yeah well why yeah. do you like the screens because the price goes up significantly yeah yeah. Well, you always tell me that if you're already taking off the screen. Yeah, right? if yeah. you're already taking off the screen, putting back on, might as well clean and get paid for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it was just funny that we we ended up including that screen cleaning, and then from there, I mean, we were in and out in like an hour and yeah, a half, hour and a half, something like that. So it was a very small job, cookie cutter, massive cookie cutter. Like even the roof was like like it was a very odd style because you know how normally the roofs kind of end at the top right this one was like it kind of went like that but this one went all the way to almost the ground so it was kind of like okay i don't know it's really yeah, really cool different. yeah but uh but yeah so we ended up uh, doing that house and then we ended up then doing the neighbor's house uh the neighbor of the one of that the we're first job of the no the other yeah we're, we're lost but yeah. the one that he it brought the neighbor so, in it was a busy week for yeah. us they're like oh. <laughs> that's why i'm like all over the place i'm like wait but then it's the one that the neighbor went inside the house that one if you kind of got the story so far so we ended up doing his house yeah and we, we also did and guess what we did then that one too we did his, his, his screens <laughs> so we ended up doing his screens too but uh all his screens we ended up actually just taking them all yeah. off and then leaving in the garage and then there was like a think five or six of them that he ended up having us do and so that was kind of easy and then we put it back on super happy about that um so we were in and out of that job and man it was just like one after another and yeah he was super nice super mm -hmm. nice guy uh very personable um and uh yeah and then from there another job that we did we had a huge mansion job that yeah we we've done her house before Mm -hmm. And really, she is like really nice. I've done her a house. Very nice, loyal client. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And we actually, I actually did her house before I actually came to the states, to the United States. In a year, I think she cleaned the, the two or three times the the windows in a year. I think I feel like two times. Two, two yeah. or three. Oh, yeah. can you think three times? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's maybe. It's a very good client. Yeah, yeah. and uh, French windows, so yeah. it's not like the easiest of jobs, and so. 
I've been posting a couple of shorts too. That's another thing uh, this week. And uh, there was one that I posted particularly that says like hard to reach windows. I think that that was the one that I posted. Um, and a couple of you guys were pretty cool about it. They were like, oh, you know, like if you can ask, and that's really nice of you guys to say that, like, you know, ask and see if you can go on the roof. So that's kind of like that house. I cannot get on the roof because it's mm -hmm. very fragile. And she said it's like really like if you step on it, you're going to get like a hairline fracture on the thing. I was just, I don't know how to explain I it. I think but the last time I went and I cleaned, remember? No, no, but that one was I okay. Did. But there was a little, a little. Yeah, yeah, I did some of the, the outside. Yeah, but they had like but a little this, platform. This time. But this, but that video that I have, that one, you can't walk on the roof. The only way to yeah. get there is like standing on the roof. So that's why I love that house in a sense that it's very easy cookie cutter there's no screens well that's the only one we didn't yeah, do screens yeah, yeah. No but the uh, but there's no screen so it's very easy but then again i can't go on the roof which would have been so much easy because i could just go with the water fit but instead i'm kind of like going in a weird angle and i'm kind of like you know using my shoulders man this week my shoulders are on fire what? yeah let me tell you <laughs> he plays like oh it's very hard okay let's think about it it's a okay. french window uh french windows a mansion right mm -hmm. Who you think is gonna finish first, the water fed or uh, someone inside by oh, hand? Oh, like traditional, yeah. Yeah, the water fed, right? But in this case, I beat Andy because while he's doing water fed pool, he plays with the dog with the frisbee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they have a dog, yeah. And the yeah. dog always brings me a frisbee. Yeah. And then right when I'm going to get the frisbee, the dog like runs away with the frisbee. So I'm kind of going back and forth. And yeah, it was very fun. But at the same yeah. time, like I was the kind of like between the windows because there was like the back of the house that also had that roof coming towards me and I couldn't like stand on the roof. I also had to do the thing. I have to, you know, kind of work my way to get it. Uh, but yeah, my shoulders are kind of like on fire. But again, during those kind of like drip dry times, I was, you know, playing with a dog that yeah. never gave me a frisbee. But I was you know. inside suffering with those French windows. <laughs> I was Andy playing frisbee, yeah. you know. Oh, you want to keep playing? Oh, no, yeah. I, have, I have time. I have yeah. time. <laughs> I finished before him. Yeah, but it was really nice. But a very... kind of bet before we started the job who's going to finish first. Yeah. That's why. Is that, yeah. is that inside joke? Yeah, no. But yeah, it was, it was a nice job. I really liked like her a lot and uh yeah she's yeah she's, she's yeah it's just very very good client of ours yeah and then come to the last job of mm -hmm. this whole week uh ended up being today um friday was that client that did the 850 in like one second so, yeah, yeah so he already paid us yeah he already well. paid us but obviously um i uh, that day on monday i had the contract signed i was kind of like hey you know like even though we didn't get paid i'll make a note of it that you know we'll come friday and all that so obviously it all worked out in that end but man what a trust that he had in us you yes. know to like give us like just and no one was home either they were just like here yeah, and they gave us i mean the code to the garage but that was the only way to get in obviously right because if not then you know someone can break in to the house but well a lot of trust and you know like those type of clients we kind of even go out of our way to like just make sure like not i know we double check but like with them we even triple check and fortunately yeah. it was good that we triple checked because mm -hmm with the water fed sometimes it's not always even with you have good tds and everything like that right now i checked this morning it was like at zero still but the thing is is that like i had some residue still in and i think like a piece of the frame or something because it was like a construction frame if that makes sense yeah it was like it almost didn't have any frame yeah that's it was a, really weird yeah it's like a frame a like construction frame is like pretty much just like you know a square box but the window is in and then like the inside of the lip it, is like a black it's little like a constru board constru um, um, cement it, i don't think it had to frame those windows it was yeah. just pure cement oh okay and then well. painted okay so yeah, but yeah so anyways something but like yeah something like that but the thing is is that like I always do those type of windows a certain way and it always works out. But in this case, I guess for whatever reason, it just looked, one of the windows looked really bad and it was kind of like the main mm -hmm. one. Not that it was bad. I mean, we could have left and been fine with it, but it was just like, yeah, there's a little bit of like a little bit of like a, I don't know. It looks like water kind of coming down. Not like a strip. It was just kind of like a. I don't know puddle. The, the water fed, dried and left a, a mark. Yeah, like a like yeah. kind of like a puddle looking thing. Yeah, so, but it's because of the frame. Yeah, no, hundred yeah. percent. So we went, we triple check, we took care of that, and you know, no one was there. So that's why I was saying, like, with those type of clients, 
that again we like to do it right the mm -hmm. first time hopefully someone's there and we can walk around but because no one was there we're like let's just triple check yeah. we really want them to sell the house and i think they're definitely going to sell the house uh, the house uh, is so beautiful yeah wow. it was on a hill too we even saw a bunny too remember oh yeah like, we saw uh, my old bunny yeah so anyways but yeah it was all in all it was a very satisfying week mm -hmm. with work uh we're very happy to to do all that and also too i want to say thank you guys too and you guys know specifically thank you so much for reaching out to us uh, placing your orders uh, through wcr uh, it means a lot to us and you know obviously you know who you are uh keep texting us it's not a problem you know hopefully we can help you with any troubleshooting you mm -hmm. have and um you know i just want to say you know thank you very much and it really helps us a lot with the channel but all in all, I guess now I have to really uh, mark in my <laughs> notes because I had to put all the numbers together because it's again another odd number when you have screens. So all in all, we had five jobs and uh, we made 2,000. 780 so now this is the most profitable week we've had so far and it yeah. didn't even feel like it it was just like when we calculated everything i was like what we almost made three thousand yeah, this week but this week was tiring yeah oh, yeah. It was. yeah yeah and even it my good. yeah even my shoulders but now my shoulders are okay and it's just nice that like in a good way that we had time to like kind of rest in between the jobs and stuff yeah. it was not like like heavy hitter heavy hitter every single time it was kind of nice to do like a big job kind of chill big job kind of chill so that kind of helped my shoulders a lot but yeah i'm just glad i have the the ultra light pole because mm -hmm. that thing man that saved me a lot but again one week so far out of the whole year you know it's it's like that's what you have it for but again you know if you're starting out or whatever the micro um carbon fiber the regular micro is the the best one to go to but yeah anything else before yeah, we wrap it, it up yeah. okay well anyways guys if you made this far don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one bye guys bye